This conference will now be recorded. Okay. So today we look into another new topic: organic irritant plants. So we know that grossleaf poisons are classified into four classes. One is corrosives. Number two, irritants. Number three. Systemic poisons, number four, miscellaneous poisons. So, corrosives, irritants, systemic poisons, and miscellaneous poisons. In irritants, we have three classification: inorganic, organic, and then mechanical. Inorganic, we have two: metallic and non-metallic. We have seen metallic, arsenic, copper, lead. Iron, mercury, and then non-metallic poisons. We have seen phosphorus, chlorine, and then today we will look into organic irritants and particular plants. In the next class, we can look into animals. So today we will see organic irritants, plants. So so we know that. There are so many plants uh, that are classified into this irritant uh, thing, and most of them, these plants have a toxic parts of any part. It can be a root, it can be a fruit, it can be a leaf, it can be a seed, it can be a bark, it can be a flower, it can be a branch. So whatever it is. So any part of the plant can be toxic. So what are the <clears throat> the main symptom? Are G irritation or G symptoms are more. And the examples of in this organic uh, irritants: Calotropis, Abrus precatorius, Ricinus communis, Semicarpus anacardium. Proton glium, capsicum anum, and then poppy seeds. So these are the seven plant irritants that we are going to study. Calotropis, Abrus pectorius, Calotropis have Calotropis giganteus and the Calotropis proteus. Uh, Abrus pectorius, Ricinus communis, Semicarpus anacardium, Proton capsicum and poppy seeds <clears throat> so calotropis so calotropis what are the circumstances of poisoning in calotropis plant so its juice is used as an abortion stick you know abortion stick is a short notes for you uh, abortion stick what are the reasons we use and how it is produced how the material can cause irritation of the uterus and then it can cause expulsion of the fetus. So its juice is used as an abortion stick for criminal abortion. It is used sometimes in infanticide also. And it is used in malingering. Malingering is where you will falsely uh, claim something which is not true. So Juice also used to produce artificial bees. So mostly if you want to apply for any leaf, so apply this juice on the body and then it will produce an artificial breeze. And this, by these injuries, uh, a person mostly in the military and uh, uh, police departments uh, will have this malingering because they are not frequently given uh, either lever, uh, such like that. So. In order to take leave, uh, malingering is used in case of calotropis where a milky white juice uh, or fluid that is present uh, in the calotropis plant, when used on the skin, it will produce artificial buoys. 
it is used as an aerophyzen to kill cattle and its root calotropis root is poisonous to cobras and other poisonous snakes so that's why mostly these calotropis plants are uh, put in the front of the doors or uh, near the uh, uh, doors and the, in the surrounding areas in order to evade uh, the cobras and other poisonous snakes so these are some of the uh, circumstances of poisoning and then there are two types two major types in this calotropis one is calotropis gigantea which produce purple flowers and uh, second one is calotropis procera which produce white flowers calotropis gigantea which produce purple flowers and then calotropis procera which produce white flowers and the active principles that are present in calotropis are eucerin calotoxin calactin calotropin active principles are eucerin calotoxin calactin calotropin and the milky juice also contains strepsin so active principles are very important so eucerin calotoxin calactin and calotropin so this is the uh, calotropis we call it as gilead in telugu we call it as gilead uh, calotropis gigantea you can see these purple flowers so this is very famous uh, plant i think of you almost everybody might have seen this plant in your lifetime so calotropis gigantea in telugu we call it as gilead what is the fatal dose fatal period symptomatology fatal dose is uncertain we don't know whether how much plant product should be eaten or how much is the fluid content that has to be taken in order to produce fatal effects we don't know uncertain fatal period is 6 to 12 hours and then what are the signs and symptomatology when it is applied to skin it produces redness and vesication it produces vesicles redness and vesication and when it is ingested it produces an acrid bitter taste burning pain in the throat and stomach it increases excessive salivation vomiting diarrhea it causes dilated pupils it causes midriasis tetanic convulsions and then death so most of the time ga symptoms are more common in organic irritant plants so it has calotropis has a acrid bitter taste burning pain in throat stomach salivation vomiting diarrhea pupils are dilated you have tetanic convulsions and then death treatment is a routine gastric lavage or stomach wash and then we have, we can use demulsions uh, in order to prevent absorption or for soothing agents and then we can have a symptomatic treatment for vomiting diarrhea uh, so whatever it is for burning pain in the stomach so we will give symptomatic treatment for all the uh, symptomatology caused by this uh, poisoning what are the autopsy features we know that dilated pupil is one feature growth can be present at the nostril and then there is inflammation of the gi tract and abnormal viscera uh, and brain are congested so abdominal so all the viscera all the organs internal organs are congested of course it is a universal finding so most of the time in any poisoning most of the organs are congested <clears throat> next one is abrus pectorius in this all the plants all the parts of the plants are poisonous what are the circumstances of poisoning seeds are usually used as an abortifacient and as an aeropoison it is rarely used as a homicidal agent it is also used as a cattle poison for revenge purpose normally sui we call it as sui where the abrus pectorius 
seeds are crushed and then they are made into long needle like structures and these needle like structures are implanted on a wooden plank and then they are hit on the back of the animal so that the poison can enter into the animal and then uh, the cattle will die so normally it is a revenge purpose it is used as a cattle poison in the form of sui and then malingering also used by army jawans where they can use this substance in the eyes and it can produce conjunctivitis and they can claim some viral infection and then they can apply for leave so these are the, some of the circumstances of poisoning malingering it is used as a cattle poison for revenge purpose in the form of sui with an abortifician and it is a arrow poison what are the characteristic features of seeds you know seeds are egg shaped they are bright scarlet color with a large black spot at one end and the colors vary in different uh, brightness also seeds are tasteless and odorless it contains an active principle very important embryo so abrus pectorius contain an active principle called abrin it is a toxalbumin which is similar to viper venom and it inhibits protein synthesis and causes cell death so that's why if i ask a question which type of poisoning mimics a viper bite then the answer is abrus pectorius poisoning because of active principle abrin which is a toxalbumin which is similar to viper uh, venom it has a similar function it inhibits protein synthesis and then it causes cell death so this is abrus pectorius seeds this is abrus pectorius plant and then abrus pectorius in telugu we called as guruvinda guruvinda gindalo or guruvinda so this plant is also uh, famous most of you might have seen that in your villages and uh, it is also an ornament ornamental plant so all these leaves are uh, tied to one another and then they can be used as a necklace uh, in some of the tribal uh, people uh, these seeds are used as a ornamental purpose also what are the fatal dose very important one seed one crushed seed is fatal one to two crushed seeds is enough to kill a person fatal fatal dose is one crushed seed fatal period is 3 to 5 days what are the signs and symptoms when seeds are ingested hemorrhagic gastritis vertigo vomiting convulsions and death from cardiac failure can occur when seeds are injected under the skin so edema painful swelling ichthyosis and necrosis when seeds are injected means when they are liquefied and then injected so when the seeds are crushed and then made powder and then it is mixed with some fluid and then it is injected under the skin that produces edema painful swelling ichthyosis and necrosis so mostly the bleeding bleeding symptoms are more because we know that the symptoms mimic viper bite viper bite has mostly uh, hemorrhagic symptoms so here also we have hemorrhagic gastritis we have ichthyosis so bleeding symptoms prevail in uh, abrus pectorius what is the treatment <coughs> gastric lavage and with activated charcoal can be done injection anti abrin uh, can be given and then sodium bicarbonate 10 grams orally helps in maintaining alkalinity of urine and then prevents agglutination of red cells and blocking of the renal tubules so main thing is gastric lavage with activated charcoal injection followed by a injection with anti abrin and then sodium bicarbonate 10 grams can be taken orally in order to prevent 
renal tubular uh, blocking. Uh, autopsy pictures, you can see edema at the injection site. Uh, the patient can have critical hemorrhages under the skin, pleura, and pericardium. Third one, semicarpus anacardium. Semicarpus anacardium. Circumstances of poisoning, accidental poisoning by the quacks, juice applied to skin to simulate bruises. Here also, it has the same properties of calotropis. Calotropis also has, it can produce artificial bruise. Here also, semicarpus anacardium can also produce artificial bruise. It is used in criminal abortion. Homicide and suicide survey. So mostly accidental poisoning is there. It is used in criminal abortion and then it can have artificial bruise. What is the characteristic feature? This semicarpus anacardium is also known as marking nut. Marking nut and uh, are black, heart shaped with rough projections. Uh, they contain an irritant juice which is brownish, oily, and acrid. And the active principles are semicarpal and bilavanol. Semicarpal and bilavanol. So, semicarpal and bilavanol are the active principles of semicarpus anacardium, otherwise known as marking nut. Because more, mostly it is also called as dobies nut. Uh, the dobies used to use the seeds in order to mark. Uh, the back of the collar of the shirts. So normally, when two or three people give their clothes to these do dobies, uh, in order to identify whose uh, clothes are there, dobi will mark uh, with this semicarpus anacardium on the back of the collar uh, so that they can not miss. So that's why it is also called as dobi's nut or marking nut. Or semicarpus anacardium. So, this is semicarpus anacardium. In Telugu, we call it as Nalla Ziledi. Nalla Gidi. Nalla Gidi. So, here we have a fresh uh, unripened uh, semicarpus anacardium, and then once they have fallen, they become dark color, and you can see the heart shaped uh, seeds. Of semicarpus anacardium, nulla GD. So you can see here the fatal dose and fatal period. Uh, the fatal dose is 5 to 10 grams, and fatal period is 12 to uh, 24 hours. Uh, and the symptomatology is when applied externally, the juice causes irritation and painful blisters containing acrid serum, which causes eczematous eruptions, eczematous eruptions of the neighboring skin. So it produces painful blisters. So semicarpus anacardium produces irritation and then painful blisters, which causes eczematous eruptions from the skin. Uh, the lesions resemble a bruise or a contusion, and later ulcer is produced, and there can be a slime. So it can it can produce when applied externally. It can cause irritation. It can cause blisters, which are painful, and uh, it can cause eczema. There is some fluid is oozing from the area of the blisters, and then it can produce slime, and then ulcer can be produced there. When this is ingested, when this plant is ingested, then blisters in the throat can be produced. It can cause severe GI irritation, dyspnea, hypotension, cyanosis, delirium, coma, and then death. So mostly GI symptoms along with the CNS symptoms, uh, with the uh, final AC, uh, CNS symptoms, and then we have some CVS symptoms also. So treatment is gastric lavage and demulsions for skin lesions washed with warm water and antiseptic solution. What are the autopsy features? Blisters are seen in mouth, 
throat, stomach, which are congested and inflamed. So treatment is by gastric lavage, and then we have to clean the ulcers and the blisters with antiseptic or warm solutions. <coughs> Next one, resinous communis. Resinous communis, also known as castor oil plant. Castor oil. Uh, what are the circumstances of poisoning? It is an accidental when uh, mostly when eaten by children. Uh, it can have an infanticide. It can be given as an infanticide poison. It is an abortifacient. And rarely the powdered seeds are used for homicide purpose. So it is an accidental poison when eaten by children, infanticide, and then abortifacient, and then rarely homicidal. What are the characteristic features? The entire plant is poisonous, but seeds are much more poisonous, which are castor seeds, and because it contains a toxalbumin resin, toxalbumin resin. So unbroken seeds are not poisonous. So normally you can see here, even in Nabras Picator, yes, one seed is poisonous. Only crushed seed is poisonous. So if you if a if a person takes <coughs> ingests a seed as it is without breaking it, then nothing will happen because the the tough that is present on the seed cannot be so that's why uh, crushed seeds are not poisonous. Only the crushed seeds are poisonous. So here also, crushed So resin blocks protein synthesis. And it is 6,000 times more potent than a cyanide. So you can see how much potent poison uh, this is. We call it as in Telugu Amadamu. So, resinous communists. Uh, in Telugu, we call it as Amadamu. So we can see the seeds. Seeds are very colorful, colorful brownish, and they are like uh, small insects. Insects, uh, if you see suddenly, they look like an insect. What are the signs of symptomatology? Fatal dose is five seeds. Fatal period is two days. Seed dust, watering means the dust that comes from the seeds. It can cause watering of the eyes, conjunctivity. It can cause respiratory symptoms, sneezing, acute nasal inflammation, and pharyngitis. When ingested, it can cause burning in the mouth, throat, stomach. <laughs> So, pants in the can also occur. Hemolysis and drowsiness, delirium, shallow breathing and dehydration and collapse and death can occur. <clears throat> so, treatment is gastric lavage and then activated charcoal can be given and demulsions and then symptomatic treatment. So most of the time in all these plant irritants, the treatment part is safe. Definitely there is gastric lavage or stomach wash and then we have to give demulsions, symptomatic treatment. So in some cases we have activated charcoal in some cases it's not there. So we can uh, make a note of that. Next one is croton tiglium. Croton tiglium. In this plant, seeds and oil are poisonous. 
seeds are oval brown dark with longitudinal lines and the active principle in proton tiglium is protein which is a toxalbumin when applied to skin oil acts as irritant causes redness and vesication it is used as a suicidal agent or an abortive agent so proton tiglium active principle is protein which is a toxalbumin so here it is proton tiglium so ripened and unripened seeds so what are the signs and symptoms it can cause burning pain in the mouth to stomach salivation vomiting bloody diarrhea can occur fatal dose is four seeds if it is oil croton oil 20 drops or 1 ml is poisonous 1 to 2 ml is poisonous fatal period is 6 hours to 3 days and the treatment is stomach wash with warm water demulsions and symptomatic treatment pm findings there is no specific findings and then inflammation of uh, gi tract and congestion of organs can be seen as a routine thing so here the treatment part is almost there stomach wash with warm water demulsions and then symptomatic treatment pm findings was the congestion of organs next capsicum and capsicum and which is pungent smell which is hot and then feel it is it's nothing but form of capsicum and it is not fat active principles are excitin and capsicin it is mostly not irritation active capsicin and capsicin so capsicum anum mirchi in telugu we call it mirchi so capsicum seeds what are the signs of symptomatology it is difficult in swallowing you can have pain in the stomach inflammation of the stomach and the esophagus when it applied to skin or mucosa it can cause irritation and the powder thrown into eyes it can cause severe irritation and leads to lacrimation burning pain and redness <clears throat> treatment is use ice cold water in order to wash uh, the area so if you have if you have eaten use ice cold water in order to uh, in the mouth or in the skin or in the eyes wherever so what are the criminal uses of this capsicum anum is powder is thrown into eyes for robberies and pepper spray pepper spray it is used by the ladies women to dry away rapists tortured by introducing powder into vagina rectum which is nothing but hyderabadi goli or police torture so police torture is where uh, the chili powder is thrown into uh, anus and then uh, they are being tortured so it is known as hyderabadi goli <clears throat> so these are some of the criminal uses so for throwing in eyes for robbery purpose for pepper spray used by the ladies for protection and then as in hyderabadi goli used by police torture so there is a difference between a capsaicin and dadura plant because both the seeds of capsicum and then the seeds of dadura they look exactly the same almost the same so we have to know the difference between how to differentiate between a seeds of capsicum and seeds of datura so seeds of capsicum they are small in size whereas in datura they are large in size seeds of capsicum color they are yellow in color whereas brown in datura shape it is rounded in capsicum whereas datura the seeds are kidney shape surface capsicum seeds are smooth whereas in datura they are pitted and then order capsicum seeds have pungent order and then datura seeds have a bitter order so these are some of the uh, features 
to differentiate between capsicum and datura seeds which are looking exactly are similar similar uh, in nature which look uh, of the same nature so you can see this is datura seeds and here you can see this is capsicum uh, seeds almost the same so except unless you take the seeds into your hands and then observe uh, you can see kidney shape So you can see the kidney shape and then you can see the brownish nature and you can see they are somewhat pitted whereas they are smooth uh, in case of capsicum. And last one is poppy seeds. Poppy seeds, they are obtained from poppy plant, they are harmless and they are used as the demulsions. Uh, also used in cooking. Normally we call it as gasgasal. In Telugu we call it as gasgasal. It is used in Krishna products. And it contains traces of morphine and coding. These large contrast these seeds can lead to screening for both the alkaloids. So it can be used in the detection of uh, drug abuse thing uh, when it is taken in large quantities so poppy seeds they are harmless and used as demulsions and it contains morphine and codeine and the, the problem will occur only if they are taken in very large quantities so thank you that's all uh, that's all for uh, uh, plant organic plant irritants so we have seen seven one is poppy seeds Another is capsicum anum, mirchi. Another is proton tiglium. Next one is ricinus communis, amalum. And then semicarpus anacardium, nullagidi, nullagidi. Apres pecatorius, guruvinda. Kelotropis gigantea, gilid. So these are the seven uh, organic irritants in plants category. In the next class, we will look into organic irritants, animal category, where we will see about snake bites, uh, scorpion bites, and all these things. So thank you for your patient listening. Uh, we can leave. We'll see in the next class.